Today we're gonna look at a hand that was played at the Hustler Casino between Garrett Edelstein aka G-Man and his opponent Eli. To discover one of the biggest reasons that caused you to play poor poker we will use the help of the comment section of the video as well as preflop and postflop solvers to analyze the game theoretical aspects behind the plays. With that you'll be able to take away one of the key elements that cause poor play and will cost you loads of money in today's poker games if you don't fix it. Starting the hand we see Garrett looking at at 8-5 of spades in the big blind after a raise from the cutoff and a call from both the button and the small blind. Garrett decides to go for a squeeze raise and the cutoff and the button both fold. Eli who is in the small blind calls with ace-4 of diamonds. To analyze the preflop play, I've made a custom simulation in simple preflop specifically for this hand. Right away, we can see that both players play doesn't quite match the game theoretical solutions that the solver provides. According to GTO, Garrett's hand 8-5 suited is never a 3-bet in this spot. In fact, it purely wants to fold. Eli's hand ace-4 suited is also mostly a fold, but at least it gets called a small amount of the time. Now even though I won't recommend you doing this, we can assume that Garrett has some reason for his play. Most likely he thinks his opponents might be overfolding against this race, or he simply gives himself that much of a post-flop edge that he considers the play is profitable. The flop comes jack 9-4 with two diamonds. Garrett, who has completely missed the flop, makes a half-pot seabed. Eli, who flopped bottom pair with a flush draw, decides to just check call. The turn is a 7 of hearts, and Garrett continues to barrel for a 75% pot bet with his 8 high, uh, has now picked up a double gut shot. Eli just check calls again, bringing in the river, which is a 10 of clubs, completing Garrett's straight. Eli checks, Garrett bets 20,000 for a full pot size and Eli thinks for a little bit, but then folds. Now according to the comments section, Eli lost his hand due to his own fault. For many of the viewers, it was clear that he should have raised the flop or at least the turn, which would have made Garrett fold his 8-5 and prevent him from getting there on the river. So let's check the GTO solution that the postflop solver PO solver provides and see if Eli did indeed play the hand poorly. As already discussed, both players' actual ranges will most likely differ from the GTO preflop ranges. So as a best estimate, we will loosen up both Garrett's squeezing range in the big blind as well as Eli's calling range from the small blind in comparison to the GTO ranges that simple preflop gave us. While Garrett's flop bet is perfectly in agreement with GTO, his turn barrel isn't. PO solver wants to purely check this combo and instead prefers to bury those combos as a bluff that have a flush draw included or hands that have overcards and flush draw blockers. Which now brings us to the question of the video. Should Eli have check raised the flop and or the turn to protect his hand? Well, no. According to GTO, ace 4 of diamonds is clearly just a call on both the flop and the turn. So if Eli didn't play the hand poorly and the comments were to help us find one of the biggest reasons why one plays poor poker, where can we find the reason? Well, it is the comments. Or more specifically, the thought process behind comments like these. Before we break this down more in depth, let's quickly finish off where we were in the hand and examine why ace 4 of diamonds just wants to check call. For that, we have to consider the small blind's whole range that gets to this flop. The foundation of a game theoretical approach is that in every spot we are looking at our complete range that we arrive at this spot with. Next, we determine which hands of this range we want to distribute to which action, raise, call or fold. Singling out all the flush draws that the small blind has in this spot, we see that due to the board texture and the small blind's rather narrow range, the amount of flush draws is limited. We do not simply want to raise with all our flush draws, as then we would have no flushes left whenever we just call and the turn is a diamond. So discovering the solver results, we can see that the flush draws that do want to check raise the flop are combos that have additional equity from having a gut shot or an open ended straight draw and ace high flush draws without a pair. Having a pair, even as low as bottom pair, actually makes a difference as it will still win the hand at showdown against the big blinds give ups that bet the flop but check down on later streets like ace king, ace queen, ace jack and some king queen. So if we have to choose some combinations of flush draws that we just check call, these would be our best choice. The thought process behind comments like these 
probably doesn't include these considerations. It rather focuses on the exact hands that were in play and what would have happened in this specific hand had Eli raised. Yes, Garrett would have folded and he would have not gotten there on the river this time. However, this kind of results oriented thought process does not help you the next time you are playing a hand in a spot like this. It's basically the same principle as every time somebody says, Man, I should have bought Amazon stocks 20 years ago. I will be rich now. No, no. Well, yeah, but does that help you buy the stock that will have skyrocketed 20 years from now today? For most people, it won't. All of this isn't to say that you shouldn't state your opinion or be able to criticize someone's play. It is simply a reminder that rather than thinking results oriented and drawing conclusions after a hand that can only be applied to that specific hand, focus on the facts that you know at the time you have to make a decision. This will prevent you from performing poorly, not only at the poker tables, but even in life overall. If you found this helpful and you want to learn more about becoming a better poker player, make sure to watch this video next.